new tonight. It's been 14 years since the city said it would work to transform into a no-kill shelter. But last year alone, Animal Services put down a record-breaking number of animals. The issue came up at tonight's Animal Services Advisory Committee meeting, where ABC 7's Ashley Rodriguez spoke to its members, and she's live now with this story. Estella, Ashley. if you talk to animal activists, they'll tell you El Paso is behind the times. Compared to cities like San Antonio and Dallas, El Paso has one of the highest euthanasia rates in the state. And Austin, which gold itself at becoming no-kill in 2010, did it in less than two years. It's taking us 14. Here we proposed this, we, we wrote the resolution in 1999, it's been 14 years, and we haven't been able to do anything. Yet we have the baseball stadium issue that they had, they were pressed for time, they had to make a decision within six weeks, and they passed that. You know, if Courtney and Island wants to say we can have parks, recreation, or we can save the animals, why not, why didn't you think about that when we're actually working on all these other issues that you were so pressed for time on? His point was echoed by many tonight, especially when the committee tabled the item again. But both sides agree that in order to become a no-kill city, you have to do more than just not kill animals. You have to educate people on spay and neutering their animals, microchipping them, educate them on not dumping unwanted animals onto the city, and instead taking them to no-kill rescues. The committee also talked about outreach to Fort Bliss, whose moving soldiers are in part responsible for dropping off lots of animals. But even after education, the issue is money. Animal Services has about $5.5 million to work with, and this is the most money they've ever had. But the need to build more, bigger shelters costing millions of dollars each requires even more money. As a uh, budget, the city and the county, one of their biggest budgets is for the police and the sheriff, right? Fifty percent of their whole budget. Well, we don't have anywhere near that type of budget for, for this program. And so um, you can only do as much as you can with the funding. The city is opening its first spay and neuter clinic this fall that will allow people to affordably fix their pets. And the city is looking to secure a contractor to help with a five-year plan that has no-kill elements. Estella? Okay, Ashley, thank you. The Animal Services Center of Mesilla Valley had the lowest euthanasia rate in its history last year. The shelter put down 52% of its animals, a 26% decrease from five years ago.